Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review. Now, first off, this is not an Arco pen. Um, this is the new uh, ASC style box that ASC have been providing pens in for a while now. Uh, it shows off the Arco brown pen on the outside, but this is actually a different pen entirely. So let me take a look and open this box. So, first off, uh, this came with a nice little sort of felt pen pouch here. Now, I don't know if this actually comes from ASC or not, so I, I actually picked this pen up. Uh, this was a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive, so I picked this up from Bryant at Chatterley Luxuries, uh, and, and this was uh, in the box as well. So, uh, I'll just leave that to one side. And then we have the inner box here. So... You can see here Armando Simone Club. Now, I do like these white boxes. These are actually quite striking, to be honest. Um, these are magnetic closure boxes. And if I open this up, you will see a number of things. So you see the pen, and the pen is floating on this bed. And then you will see a few other things. So you'll see the Armando Simone Club message here. Uh, and this is uh, leading the way on... Uh, reducing its carbon footprint with their new packaging you have that shelf and then you have the armando Simone club member card and this is stamped with chatterley luxuries so let me put all of this back in uh and then i'm gonna open up this here and remove the pen um now if i remove that box you will see here you get this pen now it does have this uh, medallion here on this tassel that i'm just going to remove and then you see the pen in its glory now this is as i said uh, this is a special edition it's a collaboration between bryant at chatterley luxuries and armando simone club who are now the pen family so this is a uh, armando simone club bologna extra now, this is going to be a little bit hard to show you on camera because the trim is ruthenium trim. So it's a black trim. But it says here, Wild West. And it is a Bologna Extra. And you can see there, if I zoom in a little bit, it's number 10 of 33. And you get a striking sort of skyline there of really sort of a Wild West on the cap band now this is a resin material it's not a celluloid now i know armando shimani club do have most of their pens are celluloid pens this is a resin pen uh, it is a bologna extra so it is a very large size pen so you can see here the cap finial tapers to a conical point you have the cap where it tapers in to that point the cap flares out to around about here. There is an ASC medallion, which is glued into place. And then you have the cap band, which is recessed. And then it drops down slightly here as a slight step down to the body. And then it tapers all the way out to this ring. And then you have the filling knob. So if I just show you here, you've got the ASC medallion there. Uh, you have the roller style clip, which uh, is quite functional, and you can sort of pull that out there. Uh, but this lovely cap band, I really do like that. And I do like these colours. This material reminds me of uh, a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande sand that I have. It's that sort of stacked or layered resin. And this is cut at a angle. And I would say that's probably maybe about a 30 degree angle. But you can see there that this material is quite captivating. Now, if I unscrew the cap, you'll see here it comes with the standard Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra number 8 size nib. It's an 18 karat gold nib. And it also has an 
ebonite feed or feeder they're very chunky now you do also have on the band here another sort of western theme going on but this material really is beautiful so you can see why i decided to pick this up from bryant uh, now this is a uh, pneumatic filling system so you have a hole here and what you do is you unscrew the what would it be the piston knob normally and it's got a lot of threads on it and then you pull it out and what you do is you submerge this in your ink you hold your finger over the hole you push it down let go and you get a, a rush of vacuum and uh, that pushing the air out of the sack inside this pen will then create a rush of ink coming up into that sack and you do that a couple of times and then you screw the piston knob down now it does have a lot of threads on these i typically find that with the bologna extras uh, you can't actually sort of um, remove the body from the section on this one uh, typically a monosomony club do glue those into place but not on every pen some pens they're not glued in place but this really is a beautiful pen and i i like it i like it a lot you can see this material here if i just show you this material it really is quite stunning so uh for me this is a really really nice pen and i wanted to add this to my collection um, i do have quite a few armando simone club bologna extra pens uh, i have uh four five six seven so eight i think this is the ninth pen now that i have so clearly i do like these uh, i like how wet they write and uh, i just just really love the size and the weight to these so for me this was a pen that i definitely had to add and uh being a chastely luxuries founding member i did get a discount from bryant uh which which was uh, very much appreciated as well so I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at about 158 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking at 70 millimeters in length. So this is quite a long pen. And if I can stop it from rolling. The full length of the body, we are looking at about 149, I would say 150 millimeters in length. So that is a very oversized pen. And you can see that here in my hand. It really is a long pen. It's also quite girthy as well. Um, you can kind of post the caps. They're not really designed to. It stops here on this uh, metal ring here. Uh, and I wouldn't want to push that because you're going to crack the cap. So they're not really designed to be posted. And you don't need to post these, honestly. Now we'll do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, and this is uninked, we are looking at just under 55 and a half grams. So this is a heavy pen. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just under 12 grams. And then the weight of the body, we are looking at just under 40 and a half grams in weight. So that is quite a weighty pen. I think let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the wild. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, and this is in the Arco Verde. We have a Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, and this is in the Black and Gold Luchens. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, and this is in the Africa. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the Wild West, which is the Chatterley Luxuries exclusive. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown. We have a Armando Simone Club Il Gladiatore in Arco Brown. We have a Wild Eversharp Decoband Oversize, and this is in the wild. 
a Wild Eversharp Deco Band Oversize in the Jade and a Wild Eversharp Deco Band Oversize in the Positano Blue. So, I think let's go and do a writing sample. So, we have an Armando Simone Club and it's the Bologna and it's the Extra and it is the Wild West. And uh, I will say that this is a Chatterley Luxuries. So Luxuries. Exclusive. And uh, the nib in here is a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here today is Diamine. And it is Poppy Red, which is a beautiful red ink. Now, in terms of line variation, you can see here this is a standard medium line. Now, I can push this and get a huge amount more line variation out of it. So, this really can become quite a marker if you want to. You can see there that there are no hard starts or skips. In terms of the ink wetness, I think you're going to see here that this is quite a wet ink uh, and quite a wet nib as well. So there you go. That is a really, really fire hose of a nib. And, and this is why I like uh, typically the... Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Pens because these nibs are super wet. Uh, so these are not nibs to write with in a journal because you are going to, uh, or in a notebook, because you are going to wait a long time for that ink to dry. Um, what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, uh, first off, I like that it's an Armando Simone Club. I like that it's a Bologna Extra. And I love this material. This material is really, really lovely. Uh, I love this sort of sliced or stacked material here. Uh, I love that uh, that Bryant was able to do a Chastley Luxuries exclusive, and they called it the Wild West, and we've got this lovely Wild West sort of skyline going on there. Uh, I guess the only thing that I don't like about it is that these pens do have sacks, and this is something that I have noticed over time, is that you do have to replace sacks in pens. So... Um, Typically, these are uh, latex sacks, so they do have a lifespan of about 10 to 15 years, although I have had a few sacks go within the space of a couple of years. Uh, that's the only thing that really that I don't like about this pen. Other than that, I really, really do like this pen, and I'm really glad I was able to pick this up uh, from Brian at Chastley Luxuries. Uh, this is a beautiful pen, and... Uh, it's going to be a pen that I'm going to write with a lot. So I'd like to thank Brian again um, for uh, sending me this pen. I did buy it, and uh, but Brian did give me a uh, founding member's discount because I have bought a lot from Brian in the past. So there you have it. That's my Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild West pen from Chatterley Luxuries. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.